But I want to save Nebby. I don't know what I should do. Get out of my fucking way. Is this... Can I heal in this? Okay. I, I mean, I just... Lily's like, help me save Cosmog. And I went, okay. And just hopped into her mom's bed. Just smelled the sheets and the pillows. She's like, um... Well, what? Listen, Lily. Your mother's a MILF. <laughs> Don't know how else to put it. <laughs> Kinda want her to step right here. On your pelvis? Close enough, Lily. Close enough. What is this place? Hell. On Earth. If you want to see, you'd better hurry this way. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna hurry up. <laughs> Take a look at that slowpoke on ice. Look at him. He's like, oh god. What did it take for me to get a couple cups of lasagna? <laughs> what do you think? It's my private collection. My precious babies. They'll all be preserved for eternity here. Honestly? Terrifying. Even just froze this Pikachu. It's just like, uh... But if the light is stolen from this world, then I won't be able to love my babies any longer. So I'll open the Ultra Wormhole and take on the Pokemon that would steal our light. I will capture even poor Necrozma. So I think I said it before, but I feel like if the Necrozma stuff was the after game for original Sun and Moon, and it just didn't, like, you know have Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. Like, if you just made this one game instead of two games, you know? If you just had the third game instead of two splits, it would have been so much better. You could have worked the story a lot better than this. You could have had the original story of Ultra Sun... Uh, of a uh, original... Fucking... What am I saying? I'm tongue-tied as shit. Of the original Sun and Moon. And it would have just worked better. Have the Ultra Recon Squad show up in the post story searching for fucking all the Pokemon, like all the Ultra Beasts around Alola, saying they're here to reclaim them. Have them talk about Necrozma and build him up a bunch. Then have Necrozma show up. Have him take over Solgaleo and Lunala. Go like, oh shit, that's pretty big. And then they run off. Have Rainbow Rocket be DLC, you know? Things that would make sense. But they don't like making sense when they do Pokemon. Hire me, Nintendo. I'm full of ideas that'll help your fucking company. Can Guzmas even stop a few children? No. Listen to us, please. Don't open the Ultra Wormhole. We can't lose anyone else. Not like we lost father. Do you think I've forgotten? As if I could forget what happened that day. I hate the Ultra Wormholes with the depths of my being. That is why I will be the one to go. I will not let anyone stop me. Not even my own daughter and son. What? Daughter? Son? It's like, how? 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 Uh, Like, how? Come on. Perhaps once you were a sweet how, but those wretches beside you left me. But I will still save them. With all the endless love of the president of the Aether Foundation is someone tasked with the protection of all Pokemon. They're not... Pokemon. I was able to open the Ultra Wormhole using just the gases we distracted on Cosmog when it was in Aether Paradise, wasn't I? I love that the whole thing of why she is crazy is that she came in contact with the Nihiligo and it made her go crazy because the Nihiligos do that. And that's why she makes, makes Lily dress like one. And then they just removed all of that reasoning from this version because, you know, they don't want to fucking go into any of that her obsession with the ultra beast especially with the uh, nihiligo made sense in original sun and moon because you got to see her with them y you hear that she opened up the ultra wormholes and one came through and she came in contact with them and it makes a lot more sense and it works a lot better you know you know you know just just small things like that anyway Alexa, this is so sad. Play Nihiliko. <laughs> Good. 
That's great. How gallant you are. You love Lily, don't you? Haha, <laughs> perhaps Lady and Lily will have growth grown up to show you big anger. I still want to love and interfere with this. I'm going to protect the Pokemon of Lola. I must go through the Ultra Wormhole and meet this Necrozma. I'll have it open it no matter what. Okay, whatever you say. Hey, Guzmo, what's up? No, no. <laughs> no. Mother, if you disappear too, we won't care because we hate you. Why are we stopping you? Now you worry for me? Fine, I'll do what it must to put your worries to rest by demonstrating my strength in battle. You, Euron, you will battle me. If I can defeat even you, then that should silence Lily's last objections as well. Again. All of this made so much more sense before. Like, it'd be one thing if this was when she turned back to a regular human in Sun and Moon and was just like, I need to protect my family from this threat of Necrozma. And then her kids are like, but wait, Ma, you can't. And she's just like, I have to to protect my family, you know? Just, it just would make, like, if these were fucking sequels, it would make so much more sense. It would be so much better. So many story gripes with this, because they just fucked the whole pot. Shat all in it. I have a fucking fighting move on this. I'm comma good. It has fire punch, I'm just remembering that. But I mean, if Brick Break can ruin the slop bunny, then I don't care. Oh, good. It's using Dizzy Punch like an idiot. Just wanna, just wanna point out that Dizzy Punch has a 20% chance of confusing the target. And that lop on e within one shot got that 20% chance off as if it were a 100% chance. But, you know, it's fine. It's fine. As long as Scizor doesn't hit itself or get immobilized by love, it is a fucking scumbag. An absolute fucking scumbag. And I hope, honest to God, that this rabbit just jumps up your fucking coochie and strangles you from the inside, Lusamine. It's using every punch except for fire, and that's honestly the funniest. There it is. That's the one you were looking for, Hoochie Mama. Do you have a fighting move on you? Yes. You better bring in that fucking grass type after I kill this fucking rabbit, or I swear to H. Just one shot, Blit. Don't you dare. I was about to say, don't you dare be paralyzed on your first turn. Because I would be... MAD. Good job. Good job. My low tick. Yes? I got a new mouse the other day, and honestly, I'm still not fully used to it, but it looks really nice and I like it. I went from a Razor Death Adder Chroma to a Razor Lance Head. And this Lance Head is really good, except I keep hitting all the wrong buttons on the sides. Hydro Pump, Icy Wind, Dragon Pulse, Flail. I mean... Yeah. Fuck him up, Shlorp. You got Seed Bomb. Marvel Scale. What does Marvel Scale do again? Boost Defense Stat if it has a status condition. Alright. I mean, you're not getting a status condition. You're just getting bodied. Don't body Shlorp, please. Okay, thank you, Shlorp. Shlorp, I talked shit about you before, but you know what, baby? You're you're doing pretty good. You're doing a-okay in my book. 
I was about to say, unless the thing uses Icy Wind and it's still super effective, then I mean you're, you're, you're garbage and you're dead. But it doesn't matter because she's kind of stupid. How has Lusamine been easier than Guzma? Aside from the Lopunny getting that dizzy punch off, you know. Why score? Get out here. None of her Pokemon have fucking ground moves. It doesn't matter. That Milotic was the only thing stopping my Glass score from reaching its full potential. I want to try Swords Dancing once. I'm going to be ballsy. Because even if it hits me for good damage and doesn't kill me in one shot... Yeah, you, look at this. Ooh, this, this Beware's gonna fucking die so hard. No item acrobatics. Really good. Apparently not good enough to kill this Beware. But I mean, it's it's doing piddly. It's doing jack dick. I've just become a sports announcer at this point. And it's down! The glass score stands! And so Lucifer only has the one Pokemon left. Who's she gonna send out? It's gonna be the Lilligan. Fucking start talking like one of those dudes at an auction. And I say about Lilligan, everyone gives you $2,000, $2,000, gonna hit $2,000, $2,000, $3,000, $3,000, $3,000, $3,000, $3,000, $3,000, $3,000, $3,000, $3,000, $3,000, $3,000, $3,000, $3,000, $3,000, $3,000, $3,000, $3,000, $3,
Here's a fun fact for everyone. People are like, oh, this thing is that heaviest weighed Pokemon at like 4,000 pounds or some shit like that. Or tons or something like that. Some immeasurably huge number of fucking weight. They're like, how can Lily move it around in her bags? Do you see that? Do you see that it's floating? That's kind, that's kind of how. It's not sitting at the bottom of her bag and she has to carry it. It is floating in her bag and being pushed by the sides of the bag because weight doesn't quite factor in when you are making yourself weightless. When you float like that, let's say my fat ass went to a zero gravity chamber. You could push me the fuck around however much you goddamn want because guess fucking what? You're in zero gravity. Anyway, we're all unharmed. There's still a ton we have to do. There's the president and Guzma in the world's wormhole. Cosmog, why stop moving? And Lucy means still our mom. Can't leave her in some world with the Cosmo. She doesn't come back. The words we just heard, is that the truth? Lucy mean, what kind of human is she? She acted so kind and caring, and yet beneath the surface she thought of none but herself. Look at, look at how, just punch right into Solaria's face. Look at this fucking wife. If she's, if she's not over the age of 18, they are lying to me and I'm upset because she is gorgeous. Was this all for her own selfish satisfaction? Or does she simply feel too much responsibility to take everything upon herself to fix? What is she thinking? What an incomprehensible individual. Though that is as much as we had heard. In truth, we are not strong. We have not needed to be. We have technology to resolve any problem that arises in our lives. This is why we have discussed finding some human who gets sent through our world to battle with Pokemon on our behalf. What was that you just said? You said you are going to send someone back to your world? You know some other way to open an ultra wormhole? How the fuck do you think we got here, you dumb bitch? <laughs> Pokemon that appears there is known as the Beast that Calls the Moon. We borrowed such a brute's power ourselves to come here to Alola. But to think that those two will hope to capture children of Krasma. Hard to think about. That people of this world truly have so much confidence in their strength in Pokemon battle. If the Krasma awakens, it'll hunger for light. It will descend upon Alola to take it. Our world. Ultra Megapolis is a world without any light left in it, after all. But you know that the darkness that once fell upon our world was driven back with light. And we know that our name for our world is stupid, but I mean, fuck off, kids. Don't make fun of us. Miss Lily, if you and your friends would like to get some rest first, I've prepared a few beds in the staff's residential quarters. Fucking bless. Wick, you're so good. I want to spend some time trying to understand what it is my mother might have been thinking. I mean, you come back in later and it's like, Lily, are you all right? And she's like, stuffing fucking Cosmog full of cotton. She's just like, and now you'll be perfect forever. She's like, Lily, I'll make you perfect too. It's like, oh God, I hate this. Please. Uh, Miss Lily's waiting outside if you're ready to meet her. I mean,. I guess I should. This is this is getting long because I'm in the cutscene heavy section, but I kind of just want to get to the next Pokemon Center. You know what I mean? I would have missed an item right there, but oh, I can go back in and check. If I did, it's invisible, and uh, I don't care enough. Can't wait for this place to become Team Rocket headquarters. Anyway, I'm glad we waited until the next fucking night for this, because, you know, they thought this time mechanic of uh, n moons at night and sun is in day was a fucking smart idea. There she is. The new and improved Z-Lily. I picked these skills up in Mali. Do you think they suit me? Uh, sure do. Uh, thank you. I feel like there's so much I have to do now to save Nebby, to save my mother, to beat you. I, w I wasn't sure what I was about to say. Uh, honestly, I went to say something, and it, I think I was going to say to save you, and then I was going to say to suck you, and then I was like, nah, Lily's too pure. 
I don't know. I'm confused for where that was going. That just threw me off my steez. This is where you were. Yeah, brother, we're dating now. What? What? That's a lie. L Lily would date my ultra son self, who is a cute, cute ass girl with good ass fashion and yellow ass, norded ass eyes. The sun flute and the moon flute. When sounded together, it said they can call the legend. Can you stop doing the fucking JoJo pose? It's like the members of Ultra Recon slot said, right? Legendary Pokemon really does exist. To reach the world where Necrozma is. Take this with you. Thanks. I'm never using that. You can catch any Pokemon without fail. I'm counting you to save my family now. It's the least I can do. What are you going to do, Gladian? Deal with this mess. I've got to catch up or clean up either paradise. I just wanted to be able to protect everyone with Null. Maybe I couldn't do that, but I'll make sure that this place stays safe. A foundation that our mother loved. You're talking like she's dead already. Ah, <sighs> here he is. Hey, and it's Lily, isn't it? What happened to you? I changed my clothes. What? I've decided. I keep getting saved by your own and my partner saved you I. If I keep being like this and I don't change, I'm gonna get left behind by you all. I wanna save Lily and Cosmog. When my partner and I both felt that way and we were in sync, we're so much stronger. So I'm gonna try to chase down that feeling again with my Decidueye and my team. So our family drama ended up changing the kind of trainer you wanna be. Sorry for getting you dragged into our mess. <laughs> you should be! <laughs> How fucking dare you! I already have to deal with my uncle and the Isn't he your grandpa? Whatever! Bitch. <laughs> How it just gets really offended. She looks convinced that what she's doing is right. She's really kind of selfish, but she just really wanted to find her father who disappeared in the ultra wormhole. Okay. You know, I actually don't think they mentioned that with the ultra wormholes in Sun and Moon. I don't remember. It's been a while since I played OG Sun and Moon. I'll wait for you at the docks. Come on, let's show the world what we can do. Okay. Oh, so that's just... I'm just here now. Is the gist of what they're saying. Can I, like, fly here? Uh, Scooby fucking can. A Scooby can indeed just fucking fly anywhere. Scooby can. Scooby Doo! Scooby Doo! Fly everywhere! That's what they say! You mean Lily? That's right, she looks full of energy. Exchange clothes. Shut up, Rotom. God, I just. When he starts talking about useless shit, when his eyes flash, it's like I want you to just drop dead. I don't want to deal with you. I hope they bring back the lotto mechanic that they have with Rodom, but just leave out the part where you have a Rodom that talks to you non-stop. Cause fucking Christ almighty, I cannot stand this Rodom. So I just want to see if there's any items on this side. This is going to be a bunch of weird long episodes because I don't think I have anything else to stretch this out by another couple minutes oh my leg just got really fucking itchy I feel like there's a sticker here but I might just be thinking of the Z cells so I mean who cares who honestly actually cares so long as I can go here and I can heal and save. Not gonna. Not gonna heal me anymore. Am I already healed? Yeah, okay. So long as I can use this for my Pokemon then. Oh, nice. Okay. Then this fucking disaster of a session is over. 
Join me again next time, I guess, when we figure out what what things happen. 